Usually, you'd want to try to show your absolute best work in the trailer. This is what a company like Sega should use to try to sell skeptical people on their game. Sonic, you take the lead. Rookie, and just make sure you take good notes. I desperately want Sonic Forces to be a step forward for 3D Sonic games. After years of trying, Sega finally found some success in the Little Blue Hedgehog. But Sonic Mania is a genuinely good game, made even better by the nostalgia that it carries along with it. Sonic Forces, so far, looks like your run-of-the-mill modern 3D Sonic game with classic Sonic shoehorned in to try to save it. Last week, AJ over on Fanatics 4 made a video on how Sonic Forces could ruin Sonic's reputation, and everybody just loved it all so much. In this video, I'm going to be ripping through all of the Sonic Forces clips that have been released so far and show you what exactly it is that concerns me about them. With the help of AJ, in case Sonic fans don't hate him enough. Eh, I got some time until the superior platformer comes out in two weeks. Oh, and that reminds me, trigger warning, I guess? I'm gonna make some goofs. Some of you may not like them, that's fine. Just be aware, they're mostly jokes. No one's trying to besmirch your childhood idol. Okay, let's go. In this clip from the trailer, they took what looks like a 30 frames per second video and slowed it down, so it's now a 15 frames per second clip, which is a great precedent to set when people are already writing articles about your frame rate. Don't worry, Bob. I'm sure all the footage with the bad frame rates is the Switch version, and all the footage with the passable frame rates is on more powerful hardware. After all, Sonic Team assured us that all gameplay inputs would be at 60 frames per second. No, but seriously, why is that passed off as a good thing? Why would I want my inputs to be at a different pace as what's on screen? Why? How could? It's just a frame rate. Calm down. The animation in the trailer leaves a little bit to be desired, but there is some good animation in the game. We're not looking at Sonic Mania levels of talent, but it's certainly not bad. I'm a fan of the ass rock that used to garnish the 3D Sonic games. They were charmingly corny, but this theme, it's not ass rock. It doesn't know what it wants to be. Kiss your fears goodbye, no looking back. A dramatic reading of the lyrics, if you will. All alone, we will never be. The two of us holding the key. We see today a world we couldn't see. Before I say goodbye to you, one more last fist bump. This song is sung by the guy from Hoobastank. Now that's ass rock. Infinite's song is actually pretty good. Who is Infinite? Seems like your typical random ass Sonic villain. It's either every bad guy put together or it's just f***ing Shadow. Wait a minute, that logo, it can't be, it's... It's Douglas Rob from Hoobastank! That must be canon because your thoughts on the music echo my thoughts on Infinite in relation to the rest of this game so far. He's so generic, out of place, and really uninspired. He looks like a poorly made Sonic OC. Wait a minute, don't tell me. Will I be able to create my own Infinite? Is that what this is? Because even with what I'm sure will be a limited amount of assets in the final build of the creator character tool, I can make a better character than Infinite. The first level is a minute and a half long, and that's what looks to me like somebody's first time playthrough. That's about how long the first level of Sonic Adventure 2 is. Oh wait, hold on a second, that's a speed run! The Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube channel released a bunch of one minute playthroughs of some of the 2D levels. It looks to me, like the levels are actually only one minute long. They always conveniently leave out the beginning, so we can't be too sure. But even if they are longer than this, there's sections that just straight up repeat themselves. My comment section assures me that there will be tons of levels. Who cares if they're minute long loops? We're getting more than 60 of them. Fun, aren't you pleased? More of a mediocre thing always equals good. Didn't you know that, Bob? Hey, we don't know if it's mediocre yet. One major problem with Sonic games is that he's fast and the impulse of players is to go fast to keep up that momentum. When 3D Sonic games feed into this impulse too much, he goes so fast that they run out of level. It makes things too short. 
We don't need Sonic to go full speed ahead all the time. Make the player bounce between enemies. Throw in some platforming that's actually challenging with multiple ways to advance. Let the player use all of Sonic's abilities, maybe some simple puzzles. Give the player control. It's nice to go fast sometimes, but it can't feel too scripted. I'm scared that Sonic Forces looks too scripted. I'm scared for the level design. The whole thing reeks of a typical modern 3D Sonic game. It doesn't even look like it has the same sort of charm as Sonic Generations. See Bob, I know what this is. You're a classicist. Every 3D fan such as myself loves to fill the wind in our quills and the actual challenge of well-designed platforming, you can keep that to a minimum. You see this Rube Goldbergian masterpiece? Everybody knows that Sonic's at his best when all you gotta do is press forward on your controller, boost a few times, maybe jump. Hold on, I completely disagree with a lot of Sonic fans' affinity for boost mechanics. They worked great in Sonic Rush, Nobody ever cites Sonic Rush. Boost mechanics in 3D Sonic games were an added solution to a problem that never existed. Sonic is just a platformer where you happen to go fast sometimes. Sonic Generations was a good game. It was awesome to us Sonic fans because we finally had a new good Sonic game after years of putting up with just garbage. It's certainly not amazing like Sonic Mania is. Now that we have Sonic Mania, it's time to raise the bar a little bit. And hey, speaking of how good Sonic Mania is, why don't you go watch AJ's video on how Sonic Forces could actually ruin Sonic Mania or more specifically how it could ruin Sonic's reputation amongst non-fans. Why are we helping AJ? For me, the gold standard of a 3D Sonic game is Sonic Adventure 2. It had some bad levels, but the Sonic and Shadow levels should be called upon in the same way that Sonic Mania called upon Sonic 3 and Sonic CD for its level design. It looks like Sonic Forces has learned nothing from its predecessors and is treading full speed ahead towards making a Sonic game that nobody asked for. But hey, the character customization was a nice touch. Hey, 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 I can point you to at least 100 people that want this game. 100 people. If 100 people can't make a major third party tempo release successful, I don't know what can. Of course, this is all just speculation. I don't really know anything more about Sonic Forces than anybody else. All we have to go on are these very lackluster gameplay previews and these less than flattering early impressions. I did have a chance to play at E3, but I opted to play Sonic Mania instead, and I am very happy with that decision. All jokes aside, I'm still holding on to my with no intentions to cancel. I have my reservations, as does Bob, but we both love Sonic and have always been willing to give him a chance. What's one more? And before you sh** all over me for being so critical, I'm a Sonic fan. I'm allowed to criticize. I love Star Wars, but the prequels suck. I love Metal Gear, but 5 was unfinished. In fact, I'm a pretty big Sonic fan. So don't f with me. So what do you guys think about Sonic Forces? It will be out November 7th, so then we will know the verdict of how good it is. I will 100% be getting it and playing it, but I remain skeptical. I'm not sold on it yet. I mean, I guess I am sold on it because I'm buying it. I'm happy Sonic's back. I want to keep that momentum going. I don't want his name to be tarnished yet again. Anyway, leave it in the comments below. Add me on Twitter. All this other social media garbage. I almost rice gummed the giveaway we did last week. So bam, these are the winners, these three people. If you're one of these, check your messages on YouTube because I am trying to get in touch with you. Don't forget, we got Tuesday game videos, Wednesday comics, Wednesday nights, Wolf Den Live. Join us for our live podcast where we'll chat. And now we're doing Sunday night gameplay streams, usually around 8 o'clock-ish. But to know about all of these, it's very simple. All you gotta do is click that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video or when we go live. Thank you guys very much for being here. Show us some love in one of these ways with a like or with a sub or with a little comment saying, I love you. Thank you guys very much. Have yourselves a very good week. so dusty.